So in previous videos, I walked you through the complete design of this 10 foot by 16 foot king post three bent timber frame. Uh, in those videos, I included the detailed design. I've hit the K key on the keyboard so you can see the back edges of all of the joinery work. And after watching one of those videos, I got a question from Ian Hurley who asked, uh, once this is all finished, does each component have an actual dimension that can be used for a cut list? And the answer is yes. Pretty much every design I use, I actually export a cut list for. So I thought I'd, rather than just type the answer, I'll just show you uh, in a video how I do that. First is I use an extension. So if you go, if you're looking for this extension, you would go to the extension warehouse and then just search for cut list. Now there are several extensions that uh, claim they can export a cut list. The one I use is called cut list, shockingly. Right, so you, could, you have to have sign in to download it using a Google account. But once you sign in, you can download and install that extension, which is straightforward. I already have it installed. So if I go to extension, cut list. Uh, before I do that, I don't want obviously a cut list of the slab. So I'm gonna turn off the slab and I'm gonna run the cut list extension. Uh, there are a lot of options here, which are mostly relevant for like woodworking stuff. Um, the only one that's of interest here is turn on the option to export a CSV file and then run the extension. It says nothing is selected. Do you want to select all visible? Yes, that's what I want. Okay. Now it complains that some stock didn't fit on the, on the, or some parts didn't fit on the stock we have. Again, that's more of a woodworking layout issue. What we really want is just this list of parts that got exported as a CSV file in the same directory that this uh, model is stored in. And how the extension works is it simply draws a, a box that, that fits the part. Um, and notice that for the braces, the, the, the box dimension isn't quite right. It isn't aligned with the brace dimension and that's because that's of how they were drawn. In any case, uh, I'll show you uh, how to deal with that later. If you look in the directory that this was stored in, uh, you'll notice I've now got a CSV file cut list. I like to edit those and I use Google Docs for that. So actually, I'll let, let me take my Google Drive folder and I'm gonna drag and drop this CSV file into Google Drive and then open that file using Google Sheets. So this is the raw data that was dumped out of that cut list extension. Um, and I do a little bit of formatting typically. I'm not interested in this column, so I just delete that. And I don't need this information. And I prefer the quantity folder moved over here. And I don't need any of this stuff, right? So it used the component name I typed in. Obviously I had a typo when I typed GERT. So there's the GERT component. Um, also notice that when you create a, a variation on a component, so you've copied it and then made unique, you end up with a copy. So this, these GERTs are actually the same. So actually what I wanna do is just change. I have three GERTs. Similarly for the posts, there are four of the corner posts and then two of the central posts, but from a from a cutlass perspective, they're all the same. So I'll say I've got six posts and I can delete that row. Um, obviously I also had a funny typing when I typed joist, that's the floor joist for the loft. So, you know, there you go, there's your cut list with one extent exception and that I already talked about, this knee brace. Notice it says the part is two foot nine inches by two foot nine inches by three inches. That's not correct, right? So if we go back to SketchUp, right? And look at this component, right? The actual part length that I need for this is actually between, if I T for tape measure between that end point of the tenon and the other end point of the other tenon, we got three foot 10 and 11 sixteenths. So, you know, from a, from a cut list perspective, when, you know, that's, that's the minimum dimension you want for that part. I would probably go back to my cut list and say that this is actually, the length would be three foot 11 inches, just, just so we got a little extra. And the width is obviously three inches, sorry, six inches, the three by six parts. There you go. That's it. That's how I would create a, cut list for my 10 by 16 timber frame. Thanks for watching.